Hey, tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So we have this 1993 Quad Runner 250, and it's got carburetor issues. <laughs> Two carburetor issues. The OEM carburetor um, had gas in it for a long time, and that kind of messed it up. And then it's got this clone carburetor that doesn't behave very well. Well, my goal for this machine is for it to be a bulletproof, reliable machine. I don't want to have to fuss around with it when it's time to start, run, and move. You guys know I love the Keevan, I think that's how you say it, PZ27 carburetor. You buy the clones for around 20 bucks. They bolt up to everything. And a lot of times, not all the time, they, they run perfectly right out of the box. There's also the PZ30, which is kind of the big brother to the PZ27. And that should be more than enough carburetor for this 250cc engine. If you look at the ads and all, they put them on up to 300ccs. So that's what I'm going to do with this thing. Um, and once again, I'm kind of experimenting. I want this thing to be bulletproof reliable. That's my goal. That's what I want to do. So this is the OEM Makuni that came off of it. And this is a PZ30 that I'm thinking about putting onto it. It's a cheap clone. See the PZ30. But if you compare, this is where the flange goes into the engine. If you compare the diameter of this and the diameter of this, you know, the old calipers here, they are exactly the same. Now, I'm not going to argue with anybody. If this carburetor is running properly, you will get better performance than out of this carburetor. I'm not going to argue that. This, um, the constant velocity does a little kind of more of a fuel pump thing, um, accelerator pump type thing, um, which will give you better performance. I'm not arguing that, and I'll lose that argument. But from a reliability point of view, I've had nothing but luck with this, with these carbs. These carbs don't have as many passages going through them. I mean, when you're doing the whole choke thing, right, it has kind of a rich inner circuitry. You move a plunger in and out of there. And depending on the position of the plunger, the vacuum allows more fuel to, to get pulled in, which is how you get your choke. This thing here, you close the choke, bam. <laughs> the vacuum pulls more fuel out of, the, out of the jets that are already there. So there are less passages for these. Um, so I, I just think... In the long run, the more reliable. When it comes to the alcohol fuel, fuel, I think it just screws up the million passages that are built into this thing. Once again, better performance, in my opinion, better reliability. And once again, if I'm using clones on both, I would think much better reliability for the um, for the simpler clone rather than the more carp complicated clone clone one of my um subscribers mentioned that he didn't think mccoonies were very good with the alcohol gas and he said particularly the clones aren't very good with the alcohol gas and that makes a lot of sense because of the additional passages so let's um let's get to figuring out how to mount this thing as you're trying to mount this you're really just trying to figure out the center of three holes to drill right and then you just cut out around it so I just used these and I went all the way to the outer of those and then the inner of those two right and you mark that right on a piece of paper you see the outer markings the inner markings this hole is just the center and when you put it on graph paper you just start counting squares and everything falls right in to where it needs to fall in from there you get your punch and a piece of brass and you see ding ding and there's one in the center there somewhere that simple actually ding 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 i think you guys could see those right 
Now I just have to start drilling and cutting. We'll have a flange. I solder it together and we're all good. I'm also trying to get the maximum out of this carburetor so you guys could see. Right. I went with the maximum flow. There won't be any restrictions. On a lot of these that I build, I could drill them out a little more. There's just that inner ring there is just slightly smaller than the carburetor bore. So, once again, I'm going with the absolute maximum. I'm trying to get as much performance out of this carburetor as I can. As you go to put this together, please, please, please remember vacuum leaks bad. Nothing worse than trying to tune a carburetor and get an all-terrain vehicle running and trying to be reliable and you have a vacuum leak. So remember, vacuum leaks very bad. I like this stuff here and obviously I finished making the um, flange converter so to speak and I made a paper gasket. So I'm going to put this paper gasket on. And then when I bolt this on, the O-ring does a halfway decent job, especially when you smash it into a paper gasket. So that's what I like to do. Theoretically, the O-ring alone is enough. But even, even if that were the case, I'm trying to make this reliable. I'm trying to put it together only once. I would, I would put some gasket sealer on here. At the minimum, you should oil it. You know, just put a little little motor oil on that that'll help seal it better okay it's kind of been raining and snowing and the weather isn't treating me well here but I hooked up the portable jump pack on it and I put the carburetor on there you guys can see it's all set up so this is you know we're talking a cold start I haven't tried this thing yet I just put the gas to it you can see this gas in the filter there. So I'm going to set up the camera and we're going to hope this thing starts. Okay, here we go. Once again, cold start. Choke is on. Key is on. I got a neutral light and we have ignition. Oh boy, that's nice. Did you guys see why I love the PZ27 and the PC30, same car? It was nice. Anyway, I got to perfect things a little bit here. It does start and run, obviously. But this is loose on here, right? You can see I have to clamp down all the way. So I'm going to put a wrap of tape on that, right? Rube Goldberg has never been prouder. And then I have to get a seat, and I think we're about ready for a ride. So yeah, as soon as I perfect this, I'll smash the GoPro on and we'll get out for a quick ride. So, once again, the goal is for this thing, you walk up to it, you start it up, and you go for a ride. <laughs> Seat is a little much, but There are a few things I still need to do. Like right now, the um, idle adjustment is on the cable, not on the set screw. So this is so 
third high. Still dragging that tarp. Good, the automatic clutch is good. We're in second. So there's obviously more work I need to do. I need to go through it and um, drain the gas tank, clean it up. So that's one thing. Hook up all the gas lines. Hook up the uh, do I have brakes. up when I squeeze them, but I don't, it doesn't seem to slow down. Oh. By the way, to me it feels like that Continues to run. Right. Hop right back on. Of course, the last turn I should be making is a left turn. I keep making left turns and I keep hitting the uh, fender. I could be happier with this. Now, I've done this experiment. It's just a matter of maybe I get no reverse light. Thing up here 
for now. Anyway, um, I couldn't be happier with this thing. So, should we PZ30 the 2001? Or should I mess around with those two Makunis and two clone Makunis and try to get a carburetor? I gotta tell you, I really, really like the fact this thing fires right up as easy as it does. I'm gonna have to um, do one of two things. I'm either gonna have to set up the choke on the handlebars here Right, um, get one of those PZ30s with a um, cable choke on it. But I mean, this is that. She, I don't. I mean, I can't complain about that at all. Um, I got to go through the electrical system on this thing. Obviously, it seems to have spark, which uh, we all love. But I'd like to get those headlights working on it, get it cleaned up a little bit. What am I going to do with this? Um, I, I have a home in mind for it, so it's probably going to go to the home I have in mind. I, I think I'm going to keep the uh, 01 for myself, and this is, uh, this is going to move on. Anyway, I really, really want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. You don't know how many you're going to get, and this is no fooling around. So get out there and have some fun, you know. This COVID stuff doesn't make life easy, but doesn't mean you can't have a few laughs. Anyway, good luck. Bye now.